In this video, we will discuss section 4-7, day 2, the quadratic formula. First, let's review the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is used to solve quadratic equations where ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And it's given as shown below. So it's x equals the opposite of b, or negative b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by the value of 2a. And again, to review, using this diagram, we can use the box, the oval, and the heart to substitute. So your value of the A substitutes in for both the boxes, the B substitutes in for both the ovals, and the C substitutes in for the heart. So for this example, again, to review, the first thing we have to do is identify the value of A, B, and C. So A is the number in front of the square term, which in this case is 5. So you can write down that a equals 5 and fill that into the box for a. Then the next value we need is b. And b is the value in front of the term with just a variable. So in this case, the value of b equals 2, which you can fill into the oval below. And lastly, the value of c is the one that's just a number which in this case is negative 115. So we get that c equals negative 115, which I can fill in the formula. Now using this, if I'm filling into the formula, the first value, it's x equals negative b, which b is the oval, which we said was 2. So it's the opposite of b, which I can fill in as the 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which we said was 2 before, so I can fill in a 2 again, minus 4 times the value of a, which from before is the box, which we said was 5. So it's 4 times the value of 5, times the heart, which we previously determined was a negative 115. So I can fill in a negative 115 all divided by 2 times the value of a, which we already determined was 5. Now in the next part, we're going to take this and rewrite it with parentheses instead of shapes. So it becomes x equals negative, instead of the oval, I'm going to put a parentheses, and I can fill in my value of 2, then it's plus or minus, the square root of, instead of parentheses, instead of the oval, I'm going to put parentheses, 2 squared minus 4, and then it's the box, so I'm going to put parentheses, the value 5, and that's a heart with a negative 115. So I could put a parentheses with a negative 115, all divided by 2 times the value of 5, so I'm going to put parentheses with a 5. Now we're going to start plugging this into the calculator. So first, I'm going to plug in and figure out what this value gives me. And if I substitute that into the calculator, it's negative parentheses 2. I click enter, and that gives me a value of negative 2. So I can write x equals... negative 2, plus or minus, and then the next part, I'm going to substitute this entire radical into the calculator, including all the parentheses. So I would have second square root, parentheses 2, close parentheses squared, minus 4, times parentheses 5, close parentheses, times parentheses negative 115, close parentheses, which gives me a value of 48. So I can fill in a 48, and then I have divided by, and the whole denominator, I can also plug in to the calculator. So it's 2 parentheses 5, and you plug that in, it gives you a value of 10. Now from here, we have to continue solving. 
However, we have this plus and minus in the middle, which we haven't really talked about. But what this means is that there's two versions of the equation. There's the version where we add the two numbers. So in that case, it would be x equals negative 2 plus 48 divided by 10. In the other version, where we subtract the two numbers. So it would be x equals negative 2 minus 48 divided by 10. Again, noticing that everything is the exact same here, but we're just changing the sign in the middle. Now to simplify these for both of them, I'm going to add the numerator. So if I add negative 2 plus 48, gives you a value of 46. So it gives you x equals 46 divided by 10. And then when you divide by 10, gives you a value of 4.6. If x equals 4.6 is one answer. And then for the other part, we're also going to simplify. So if I do negative 2 minus 48 for the numerator, gives us x equals negative 50 over 10. And then if I divide that by 10, gives us x equals negative 5. So your final answer is x equals 4.6 or negative 5. Now for the next example, we're going to go through the same process. The first thing we have to do is identify the values of a, b, and c. So looking at the diagram, the value of a is the number in front of the n squared, or the square term. However, in this case, there isn't a number in front, so we're going to assume this is a 1. So we can assume that the value of a equals 1, so I can fill in a 1 below. Then the value of b is the number in front of just the variable which in this case is negative 12. So we can say that b equals negative 12. And then c is just the number, which in this case is 21. So I could say c equals 21. So I have b equals negative 12 and c equals 21. Now substituting into the formula below, the first blank is an oval, so it's a value of b. So that means I can fill in the negative 12. So I have negative b equals negative 12, plus or minus the square root of, it's a b squared or an oval squared, so I can fill in a negative 12. Then it's minus four times the value of a, which is a rectangle, which is a rectangle for a one up above, so I can fill in a 1, and then we have a heart, which is the value of C, which we see from above is the value of 21. All divided by 2 times the value of A, or the rectangle, which we already determined was 1. Now if I rewrite this with parentheses instead of shapes, I'll have x equals negative. Instead of an oval, I put parentheses. And I have a negative 12 plus or minus the square root of. Then instead of an oval, I'm going to have parentheses squared. So it's negative 12 squared minus 4 times. It's a box with a 1, so it's going to be a set of parentheses with a 1, and then a heart with a 21. So we set of parentheses with a 21. All divided by 2 times the value of 1. Now if I want to simplify, we're going to simplify each part of the expression. So first, I can simplify the negative times negative 12, and when you plug that in your calculator, negative parentheses, negative 12 gives you a value of 12. So that gives you x equals 12 
plus or minus. Then we're going to plug in the entire radical, including all the parentheses and the squared and x1 and everything. So it'll be second square root, parentheses, negative 12, close parentheses squared. You have to make sure you include the parentheses, otherwise it'll lead to an issue later on. Minus 4 times 1 times 21, which gives us a long decimal. And we're going to round this decimal to two decimal places. So I'm going to round this to 7.75. Divided by, you now I simplify the denominator, I have 2 times 1, which we can plug in. So it's 2 parentheses 1, which gives you a value of 2. Now, continuing from there, we have to deal with the plus and minus again. So if I first consider the plus version, where I'm adding two numbers, I'll have x equals 12 plus 7.75 divided by 2, or the minus version, where it's x equals 12 minus 7.75 divided by 2. Now, if I simplify both of these, for the plus version, it would be 12 plus 7.75 gives you a value of 19.75 over 2. Then we divide that by 2. It gives you a long decimal, which I'm going to round to two decimal places. So the x equals 9.88. For the other example, I have to subtract 12 minus 7.75, which gives you a value of 4.25. So x equals 4.25 over 2. And then we divide, it gives you 2.125, which I'm going to round to x equals 2.13. So these two answers are my two answers, which we could rewrite into one final answer. So x equals 9.88 or 2.13.